It's very promising. Not far from the big hole. Now, see, from here you can already see it. Well, that's definitely a slip. That's a slip, isn't it? <laughs> After two months of work and $10,000 spent in diesel, Aaron and Ron's jobs are on the line. To continue mining on this claim, they need to convince owners, the Humes, that a new shallow pit can deliver high-quality opal. We've got rock already in here. We're getting really, really good potch. So it's got everything to make perfect opal. A slip is an earth movement that creates a void between rock. In some voids, silica-rich water drains in, hardening over millions of years to form opal. That's exactly everything that you need to have gem quality opal. All we've got to do is dig it. Now what do you reckon, Chris? How much fuel you say you got? We've got 3,000 litres, approximately. 3,000? Yep. It may be a bit more. Yep. Well, you got that much to find us some opal. Oh, gladly take that offer. Good. We'll give you a go. Thanks, right. mate. Much appreciated. All right, let's go then. Look, if anybody's going to find it, it'll be Aaron and Ron. Ron can find the smallest speck of colour and he will chase it from here to the other side of the valley. And Aaron will work from dawn till dusk helping to get it done. You can't ask for more than that. All right, we'll see how we go. Aaron and Ron have just a week's worth of diesel to find high quality opal for claim owners, the Humes, or their contracts will be terminated. Well, you can see the edge of the clip. Well, that'll do. Well, better go down then. Right, I. Their hopes rest on an opal level sitting along a fault line or slip five metres deep that Aaron's opened up with the 100 tonne excavator. If we can produce some opal, we'll probably keep a job, otherwise who knows what'll happen. Right. All right, let's do it. The smaller 30 tonne excavator will allow them to follow the opal level with greater precision. The ground's becoming a lot moister. We're getting more rocks too starting. As long as we got rock, we got a chance, mate. She's starting to go colour, starting to produce the juice. The colour. So right, I'll rip a bit off the top. Yeah, well, I'll just go through a bit more. I've never moved that much dirt and not found over. Bit of a reputation we've got to live up to. We go to a site to find opal and we don't find opal, it doesn't look real good. Oh! Hey! We got Carla! Carla! Come on, baby. Speak to me. Oh, look at that! Oh, God, I had to do that. Look at that. Give me a look at it. Oh! oh look at that! Bloody hell! How many lines there? My God, that's colour. Yes. How nice is. Oh, look at the well, colour. Gold, green, that is nice <laughs> over, mate. <laughs> it's all right. Hey, Ron, that might change a few minds. If that doesn't change it, then we don't need to dig. Good on you, Ronnie. Good, good one. We done hey, all right. That might keep us in a job, Ron. Keen to see if they've found enough to keep mining, it's a 100-kilometre drive to the Humes headquarters in Opalton. How are you, mate? Hey, boys, how you going? Found a little bit. A little bit? Well, I'll give you a look at it, eh? Oh, well, yeah, let's go. All right, got to be very gentle with this one. It's very precious, I think, but we'll see what you think. Well, it's getting better, but uh, we've got to try and work out how to make it pay. All right. Well, that is definitely getting better. You know, that's the sort of stuff we want. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we just got to saw around it gently. And... Green, gold, blue. Yeah. There's his brother. Yeah. I'm sensing you're building up to something. Me? I wouldn't do that. <laughs> that's the worst bit. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice lines, eh? Well, boys, I think we're going to have to open that up and see what we've really got before we make any decisions. Yeah. yeah. Let's cut up what we can. Yeah. And then we'll see what's happening. Yep. We're trying to take the hands off that we can see how well the opal split. After failing to find opal for two months for mine owners, the Humes, Aaron and Ron's livelihoods rest on what's inside 
this iron stone boulder. We're getting that. Look, that one's starting to come out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we put it on the grinder now. I reckon, mate. This machine will grind away the excess stone. Well, you want him not in the sun somewhere. What we want is opal all the way around, and then we can split it. This stone's looking very promising. Nearly two inches thick by nearly an inch. All right, we'll be eight. Splitting the stone correctly can double its value for making jewellery, as two matching faces will be exposed. We've got to take our time with it wrong. We've got to get it right. I want to try and impress Chris. Split it wrong, Turn it off. and both faces could be destroyed. We want to split some? I will. Yeah. I'll just put a little nick in them. Yep. Good idea, mate. Look at that, What's up, boys? How'd it go? Not too bad, Chris. We split him. Well, isn't that pretty? Yeah. Now we've got two stones in there, and they're lovely. Yep. There's two really nice stones there. They seem to be splitting all right, but eh? Yeah. Still getting good meat on each side. Nice. Hey, look at that red line above here. See that one? Aaron and Ron have high-quality boulder opal featuring multiple faces of blue and green with flashes of rare red. It's been cut and there's 280 grams. It's a beauty, isn't it? This is opal. This is opal. This is proving the ground. So this is good, boys. If I can't get 40 for that rock, well, I'm not going to sell it. No. So we'll keep going. You got to see what's next. Thanks, mate. Well, we got to find the other half of this, Thanks. haven't we? Mm, you're right. We do. <laughs> it could be more. Could be bigger. Yeah. Could be double. Yeah. You can't walk away from that. No. 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 <laughs> Before you're going to commit to buying more fuel, buying all the other things that go into uh, opal mining, you want to be confident that you've got a bit of money coming back in. Wow! Well, look at that. She's that's popping. Oh. If it keeps on running like it looks like it's going to, then I'm confident the boys will get there. And uh, I'd owe them a beer or two on top of their share. We've got to start trenching, mate. Anyway, hey, we... cheers. Cheers, cheers for a good year, mate. Yep. They might call it the bad lands, but it could turn into the excellent land. <laughs>